Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee. It is November 10th and the last of our absolutely gorgeous weather here in November. Uh, we're up to 20 degrees Celsius today, which is 68 Fahrenheit. Tomorrow will drop down a few degrees, but it's still going to be decent. So I think the bees are going to be flying again today. So I just want to take a quick look inside just one hive because I want to see what they've done with the winter stores that I've put in. So I put in a pollen paella patty, which is what I call it, and I gave them some sugar candy. And what I found in previous years with my overwinter feeding is that the bees usually go after my food first, the food that I give them, before they go after their own stores. So the food's been in there for about 10 days, so I might be able to see that they've hit it hard uh, or not hit it at all or starting to hit it or whatever. Uh, but that'll give me an idea if I want to feed them again before it gets all that cold. So. Uh, don't have my tripod, so it might be a little tricky filming it, but I'll do my best. Just want in and out of one hive just to have a look. And thanks for joining me at 4D Honeybee. Okay, so let's have a look at what we see here. The one thing we always see when we get into winter bees is mortality, right? We always see a lot of those summer bees that don't make it through the fall into winter, or through the winter. Okay, I'll give you a look at what I'm seeing here. Lots of bees. Now you can see the sugar. I basically put sugar around three quarters of the top of the frames. And then just a big pollen patty over here, I think. Or this one, maybe I put the pollen patty over here. I don't know. We'll see in a sec. Put it back over here. I see here. Very calm bees for fall. I didn't even bother with the smoker. So they're having at it. You see that? See all the, all the little spaces there? All the crevices are all where the bees have been taking sugar. Yeah, they've taken a lot. All of this is gone. They're all into there. As far as the pollen patty, yeah, it looks like they're getting at it, but they're not. And the pollen is more like something that should be there for the early spring once they need to start feeding that brood. Just slice some holes in it, make it easier for them. But you know, I think in 10 days you can see they've gotten a lot of the sugar. So I think I will make another round of sugar and feed it to them in the next week before it gets too cold. So that's what I wanted to see. Wanted to see how they're doing on this gorgeous day. Because I think these are bonus days for them. For them to be able to get out and fly, do some foraging, there's still some food out there for them. I mean, not much, but they'll find it. Whatever there is, they will find. Just clean up here. And just to be able for them to, you know, pee. Bees have to pee and poo too. As long as they're not doing it in their hive, that's a good thing. Probably should have checked this inner hive a little more closely just to make sure the queen wasn't on it. So have a good look at it now. Not seeing anywhere. So we'll just button it up. grateful that we had this opportunity to see the bees. And they are loving it. They're flying crazy. I put the boxes back on. Just make sure that the that the uh, cozy isn't caught in the corner of the box. Make sure the boxes are all lined up too. Make sure that Cozy is not blocking that upper entrance. That's what that screw is there for. 
make sure they can get access to that upper entrance. See that right there? See how they're going in? They have to have that upper entrance in case this lower entrance gets blocked by snow throughout the year. Again, you got your uh, wood chips on top here which allow the moisture to come through. Generally condenses when it hits the inside of the, the outer lid and then some of it gets out through the through the front which is uh, vented here so it's just open up the lids just open a bit at the front to let the air flow out some of it condenses and comes back down but then gets trapped by the wood chips it never gets through back down to the bees so that's the plan it's going all right I'm glad that these bees are uh are getting this chance to be oot in a boot as we say here in canada out and about and uh, I'm going to prepare some more feed for them and get it in there. But I'll just uh, whip by the front of the hives now to show you how active these bees are. It's fantastic to see them flying. And thanks for joining me at 40 Honeybee. Get this lid on. Stone here. Look at all these bees. bees. I'm not sure now they're shy. Look at this one. Rip. And the last one, probably the strongest one. Wow, look at how much they're bearding up here. Kind of makes sense, you know the hive's going to get really hot in this sun. Look at Good sign there's a lot of bees in that hive. 